The Wake County emergency crews are on standby all day. CBS 17's Amalia Roy is live tonight. And Amalia, we had a lot of alerts, but no real damage in Wake County, fortunately. Yes, Liz, a lot of alerts, but thankfully no real damage. We have been seeing some flooded areas. I mean, right here, we're just a few minutes away from the station. You can see that this creek has flooded, and you can see that the walking trail is completely submerged. Wake County Emergency Management tells me the biggest concerns they had all day, though, were tornadoes and trees downing power lines. And as you said, the good news, nothing major here in Wake County. This morning, though, I did see some flash flooding around Raleigh and down in Garner. A downed tree shut down Vendora Springs Road in Garner, while a Duke Energy and fire crews worked to clear the road. Earlier today, there were thousands without power across the triangle, but as of this afternoon, many of the Wake County outages were clear. Wake County Emergency Management is, however, sending crews to other areas around North Carolina in need. Wake County has sent several crews out west already, including some EMS resources and some swift water resources. The town of Cary, the city of Raleigh, the town of Wake Forest, in cooperation with Nightdale, have sent resources out, and also Wake County EMS. Wake County Emergency Management also encourages people to have an emergency kit and a household plan. Live in Raleigh, Amalia Roy, CBS 17 News. All right, Maya, thank you.